Wars shape destiny. Technology, unearned wisdom. War, often described as the darkest aspect of human endeavor, paradoxically shines as a potent catalyst for technological innovation. This relentless pursuit of advantage on the battlefield has inadvertently propelled humanity into new realms of scientific discovery and technological advancement. The primary motivator in this surge of innovation during wartime is the relentless quest for superiority and survival. In the face of existential threats, resources and efforts are mobilized at an unprecedented scale, focusing intensely on developing technologies that can provide a strategic edge. This includes advancements in areas such as weaponry, communication systems, transportation, and medical treatments. The pressure to outmaneuver the opponent fosters a climate of intense research and development, leading to breakthroughs that might have taken much longer in peacetime. Moreover, the innovations born out of war often find applications in civilian life, significantly impacting society as a whole. For instance, the internet, originally developed as a military project, has revolutionized global communication and information sharing. The origins of the internet can be traced back to the 1960s, during the height of the Cold War. The United States Department of Defense, seeking a way to maintain communications in the event of a nuclear attack, funded a project called ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. The idea was to create a network of computers that could reroute information via multiple paths, ensuring communication continuity even if some connections were destroyed. The first significant milestone in this project was the successful transmission of a message between two computers located at UCLA and Stanford Research Institute in 1969. This event marked the birth of ARPANET, the precursor to the internet. The technology used was packet switching, a method of breaking down data into blocks or packets and sending them independently across the network to be reassembled at the destination. This method proved to be efficient and robust, forming the foundation of internet data transfer. The development of ARPANET involved collaboration among various academic institutions and researchers. This collaborative spirit was crucial as it led to the creation of protocols like TCPIP, Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, in the 1970s, designed by Vinton Cerf and Robert Kahn. TCP-IP provided a standard method for different networks to communicate, an essential step towards creating a single, interconnected global network. As the technology matured, the use of the network extended beyond military and academic circles. In the 1980s, the National Science Foundation created NSFNet, a series of linked networks utilizing the TCP-IP protocol, which effectively became the backbone of the modern internet. This expansion marked the transition of the internet from a military project to a public and academic resource. The final transformation of the internet into a worldwide phenomenon came with the invention of the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. The web provided a user-friendly interface to access information on the internet, leading to an explosion in its use by the general public. Web browsers, websites, and search engines soon followed making the internet an integral part of daily life and a critical tool for communication, information sharing, and commerce. Similarly, advancements in aerospace during World War II laid the groundwork for modern commercial air travel and space exploration. Medical innovations, such as penicillin mass production during World War II, have saved countless civilian lives. With that said, it's crucial to recognize that technological innovation is not solely the progeny of warfare. The internet, while having roots in a defense project, ARPANET, evolved mainly through civilian and academic efforts. Many significant advancements have been made independently of military conflict. But it is often the case that technologies get their roots from the military. Here are some other examples. GPS, Global Positioning System. Initially developed by the U.S. Department of Defense for Military Navigation, GPS has become indispensable in civilian life. It powers navigation systems in cars and smartphones, assists in mapping and surveying, and is crucial for air traffic control. The development of GPS, Global Positioning System, began in the 1970s, not for a specific war, 
but as a response to the general needs of the U.S. military for precise navigation and timing. The system was primarily developed during the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension between the Soviet Union and the United States, rather than for use in a conventional war. The first GPS satellite was launched in 1978, and the system reached full operational capability in 1995. Duct tape. Originally created during World War II for keeping moisture out of ammunition cases, duct tape has become a ubiquitous household item, valued for its versatility and strength. Duct tape's journey from a military tool to a household staple is a remarkable example of how a simple invention can find widespread and varied use. The story begins during World War II, when the U.S. military required a durable, waterproof tape to keep moisture out of ammunition cases. In response, a division of the Johnson & Johnson Company, led by a team that included Vesta Stout, a mother with two sons in the Navy, developed an adhesive cloth tape that was strong, versatile, and resistant to water. Originally green and named duct tape due to its water-resistant properties, like water off a duck's back, the tape quickly became a go-to tool for soldiers. They used it for everything from repairing equipment to sealing ammunition boxes, thanks to its strong adhesive and easy-to-tear design. After the war, the tape transitioned into the civilian world. Its color was changed to the now-familiar silver, and it was renamed duct tape, reflecting its new use in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC industry for connecting heating and air conditioning ducts. The tape's ability to adhere to a wide variety of surfaces and its durability under different conditions made it popular in numerous applications. Microwave Oven Microwave technology was developed during World War II for radar systems. Percy Spencer, an engineer working on radar technology, discovered the cooking potential of microwaves in the 1940s, leading to the development of the microwave oven. In 1945, while working on radar equipment, Spencer noticed a peculiar phenomenon. He was testing a new vacuum tube called a magnetron, which is used to generate the microwave radio signals and radar. Standing near the radar equipment, Spencer felt a strange sensation and discovered that a candy bar in his pocket had melted. Intrigued by this, he conducted a series of experiments, placing various food items, such as popcorn kernels and an egg, near the magnetron. The popcorn popped, and the egg cooked and exploded, confirming his suspicion that the microwaves emitted by the radar equipment were responsible. Realizing the potential for cooking food, Spencer and Raytheon filed a patent for a microwave cooking oven in 1945. The first commercial microwave oven was called the Raider Range and was released in 1947. However, this initial model was large, expensive, and primarily used in commercial settings like restaurants and ships. Over the years, the technology was refined and compacted. The size and cost of microwave ovens decreased significantly, making them more suitable and affordable for household use. By the late 1960s and 1970s, the microwave oven had become a common appliance in American homes, celebrated for its ability to cook food quickly and conveniently. Digital Photography and Imaging The technology behind digital imaging was developed by NASA for space exploration. It has since revolutionized photography, medical imaging, and cinematography. The story of digital imaging technology, which revolutionized photography, medical imaging, and cinematography, begins with its development by NASA for space exploration. The primary motivation for NASA's development of digital imaging was the need for efficient, high-quality image capture and transmission from space. In the early days of space exploration, traditional film cameras were used. However, film cameras had significant limitations. They required physical film to be returned to Earth for development, which was impractical for distant space missions. NASA needed a way to capture and transmit images from space electronically. This led to the development of digital image sensors, capable of converting light into digital signals that could be transmitted back to Earth and reconstructed into images. A key breakthrough in digital imaging technology was the invention of the charge-coupled device, CCD, in the late 1960s. CCDs are semiconductor devices that convert light into electronic signals. They were far more efficient than earlier technologies, providing clearer images with higher resolution. 
NASA adopted CCD technology for its space missions in the 1970s, using it for capturing star fields and planetary images. The transition of digital imaging technology from space exploration to mainstream applications occurred over several decades. The first commercial use of CCDs was in television cameras in the late 1970s. In the 1980s and 1990s, the technology advanced rapidly, becoming smaller, more efficient, and less expensive. The development of portable digital cameras was a significant milestone. These cameras, which stored images digitally rather than on film, became increasingly popular with consumers in the 1990s. The convenience of viewing, editing, and sharing photos electronically contributed to. Digital imaging also revolutionized medical diagnostics. Techniques like digital X-rays and MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, rely on digital imaging technology. These tools provide clearer, more detailed images, aiding in more accurate diagnoses and treatments. In the film industry, digital cameras have transformed cinematography, allowing for new creative techniques and simplifying the post-production process. Films shot digitally can be edited directly on computers, streamlining workflow, and enabling sophisticated visual effects. EpiPen. The auto-injector technology used in EpiPens was initially developed by the military for rapidly delivering nerve gas antidotes. It now provides life-saving medication for people with severe allergies. The EpiPen, a crucial medical device for individuals with severe allergies, has its origins in military technology. The auto-injector technology used in EpiPens was initially developed for a very different purpose to rapidly deliver nerve gas antidotes to soldiers in the field. During the Cold War, the threat of chemical warfare was a significant concern. Nerve agents, a class of phosphorus containing organic chemicals that disrupt the mechanisms by which nerves transfer messages to organs, were potent weapons. Exposure to these agents required immediate treatment to counteract their effects. The US military recognized the need for an efficient, easy-to-use method for soldiers to self-administer antidotes in the event of a nerve gas attack. This led to the development of the auto-injector, a device designed to quickly and safely inject a single dose of medication. The auto-injector's design was simple enough to be used by individuals without medical training, under the stress and confusion of a battlefield environment. The potential of the auto-injector to deliver other types of emergency medication was soon realized. The technology was adapted for civilian use, particularly for the administration of epinephrine, a medication used to treat severe allergic reactions, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis can be triggered by various allergens, including food, insect stings, and medications, and requires immediate treatment to reverse the symptoms. The EpiPen, a brand of epinephrine auto-injector, was developed and became commercially available in the 1980s. Its ease of use made it ideal for emergency treatment of anaphylaxis. The user can quickly administer the drug by pressing the device against their thigh, triggering a spring-loaded mechanism that inserts a needle and delivers a pre-measured dose of epinephrine. The EpiPen has had a significant impact on the management of severe allergies. Its availability has empowered individuals with life-threatening allergies, their families, and caregivers to respond promptly to anaphylactic episodes which can be fatal if not treated immediately. Schools, emergency responders, and public places often keep EpiPens on hand for emergency use. As we have seen, numerous technologies that are now integral to our daily lives have their roots in military research and development. This trend raises profound questions about the nature of innovation and the forces that drive it. It compels us to consider how the exigencies of conflict can inadvertently foster advancements that benefit humanity in peacetime. This duality prompts a reflection on the ethics of innovation and progress. It challenges us to ponder whether the advancements achieved through the lens of conflict could have been realized through more peaceful means.